first Gul'dan! Same person. Let the games begin. I didn't see the Rare Combo ultimately, and he had three cards left. It could have been. I also he had Twisting Nether as one of those cards. So I'm not sure what he had. Your soul shall suffer. Nothing can stop me. Nothing. I didn't have uh, the early game this game. I hope I could draw Polymorph here. Hmm. So right now I have no way to deal with Twilight Drake or Mount Giant. But I still have to Frostbolt here. That way it's harder from the faceless it. Back in Emperor Knight. Emperor is really good, not just with Archmage, but it's really good with Dirty Rat, as you see from last game. Because Dirty Rat, you want to combo with like Blizzard and Flame Strike and stuff. Yeah, his last cards could have been Nether, Shadow Flame, Hellfire. That makes sense. Can't even kill if I wanted to. I could have killed that, I guess, but it's not worth it, I think. Try Flame Caller, Arcane Blast Ping, or something. This is just I have to Flame Strike to clear next turn. I also have Brand Rat. Probably save that for Blizzard. I have to Flame Strike soon. Well, it depends. Oh, he's trading. Oh, yeah, he has Trader with Flame Strike just wrecks him, huh? So now I just Firelands Portal. Oh, That's sick. That could kill me, because he's he's running Soulfire, so if he gets Soulfire and P.O. from this Peddler, I, I lose. Don't think he's running Leroy, actually. And I have the Barrier, too. I just need to not die this turn. I have no AoE, right, for Brand Dirty Rat? Brand Dirty Rat, Twilight Flame Caller. But I still have to use my Arcane Blast on this guy, so I can't kill whatever comes down unless they're two twos. No, I have to go for the save play. Interesting. I kind of wanted that, but I guess I get the taunt. I think I still Firelands Pearl here. I never die at, at, at uh, 11, 9. I don't think so. I need to stay ahead for Draxus or I'll lose. He uses a Spellbreaker here. Last game he siphoned this. I mean, he can just trade a 3 3 in, so I still think I like playing it over holding it and then playing it pinging. That's too much mana.
Nice, Frank Azakis to get Max Soulcaster. I need to beat Draxus. This turn you might Draxus me. I want to take one for board control. Maybe take a one mana potion here for Archmage. But I have Archmage Fireball already. My Reno is unactivated. I just, oh, never mind. I don't even have Reno anymore. I have two Kazakuses, so I, I, I don't lose anything for double Kazakus in my deck, because the moment I draw Kazakus, I'll be able to play it. I like the AoE Polymorph. I mean, I'd rather have six damage everything, but AoE Polymorph is good, especially since I have Twilight Flamecaller to kill all the sheep. He might Hellfire this turn. It's actually no, this is really good. Because he's used coil, so so it's hard for him to kill it. No no, he has siphon. If he has Hellfire, oh Hellfire Reno is pretty good. Because he's at eight. I have a potion that does eight damage, right? Yeah, that's okay for him. I don't think he has siphon. Maybe just Alex draws him here. I have the backup AoE potion if this goes bad. Even if he does have Siphon plus more minions, I have the AoE potion, get 10 armor. It's not even that bad. I want to say this with Doomsayer, although if I had Doomsayer, he plays Draxus. My hand's still heavy, I need to play fast. There's no luck point saving this. I don't think it matters to kill a sheep after a blizzard, and uh, I don't even think this potion's that good for now. We can, like, if he plays big minions, we can kill like this and draw cards, gives us more options. But otherwise, we just grind him out with four Kazakus potions. He has Drax at some point, and Twilight Drake. Okay, here it is. It's not even that clean for him. I have two minions on board right now. So I clear this one. He might go double face, not sure. That's be certainly weird to go double face. Because I can just ping that. Okay. I need 12 more damage. He doesn't have Reno anymore. Eight. No, I don't have enough damage. This is good with Blizzard, the turn after. Nice, nice, nice. So my goal is to play Blizzard Kazakus, and then that'll damage his Infernos low enough to finish. And I want to have two five damage potions together to burst him, because this is slow. I can't play ten, like, I want to play two fives. With 10 damage here, this 3 damage is throwing lethal. He does have random heals too. He has Earthen Ring as well, I think. That's good. 
Blizzard are Doomsayer stronger than Tamanaka Zaka's potion because it stops his next drop too. Oh, he messed up! He should have Shadow Flame this Inferno, and now I can clear it with Potion. I almost just rally, yeah, I don't Cory, I just play both. Oops, I almost hit myself in the face. Let's do this. Wait, what's going on? Drake? It's lethal if I get Drake. Oh, what am I doing? I should have I should have played this potion first. Oh no, that was bad. Uh, I think it should be fine, but that was a big mistake. My eyes are open. I got tricked by the lethal on Twilight Drake. Or on spell power. No way. He's out of heal. I need to survive a little bit longer. So I'll play, uh, he's almost in fatigue. Otherwise I can go Volcanic Courier ping him to eight. I hope I don't lose cause I threw. <sighs> So 11, 14, ooze is good, need potion first. So I just need 3 damage, pull- actually no, this is way better. Actually it doesn't matter, this is safer. Ooze I can ping to, to 8, but he's gonna take fatigue. <laughs> Today is my day. I'm gonna play until I get legend or um, lose. And then I'll be doing my AMA on my curse server. I kept this because I guess I don't mind drawing in Reno Mage Mirror. If I get closer to Bran Kazakis Max Soulcaster combo, if you like, basically the way you lose is if you draw and then they dare you write your combo, then you're in a weird position because you don't have enough value to kill them. But if you just keep drawing and you get combo, it's generally fine because they'll never be able to kill all your minions. Uh, maybe I should just. AI, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I don't think I'm ever gonna play Acolyte then. This game. I hope you like my okay, he's playing the uh, Archmage Heavy Cycle, so it's good that I keep up drawing, because he's just gonna draw as well. I'll never lose the fatigue, anyways, then. Well, I should play something. We have 
I like saving Mistress for after his Alex Strauss, like, because he's all in on me with his deck list. I was even thinking of saving Refreshment for after Alex Straza. Yeah, this will just die anyways, to Volcanic Potion. The thing is, I don't mind cycling, but I want to save this one for Dirty Rat Food. Whereas I don't mind cycling um, Blood Mage, because that actually draws me a card. Well, it looks like I have to play Mistress here. I can't save it. It's just I have 10 cards. I don't want to burn my coin. Trust me. Technically, I should play this first in the off chance it's Mirror Entity, because even if I get Babbling Book, I can't play it. Reno Mage owns Freeze Mage, generally, because uh, you have Ice Block plus Reno combo, and Kazak is for armor. Hmm. And you have um, Refresh and Vendor and stuff. It's not as much value, but his his deck is not a value deck. I use Hearthstone Deck Tracker personally for Deck Tracker program. Uh, there's some other ones. I think there's a Annoyo Annoy Bot or something, Annoyotron, Trackabot, something like that. Trackabot's pretty good, but it just runs in the background. It's like much less hands on. You know, I can actually tempo this out with Archmage Coin plus Arcane Blast. Like, I still have the Brand Kazaka stuff going on. It doesn't really interfere. So which one do I blast here? It... Okay, well, I do this one. Now his Kazakus Potion for 4 damage AoE doesn't clear this guy, that's why this play is pretty good. And I also have Alex Straza right now, so I could kill him this game. Uh, if he doesn't have Reno in his first 15, I could just, I'm definitely probably going, definitely probably doesn't make sense, but I'll probably go for <laughs> Alex Straza him. So this might have pushed him like 6 or 7 more damage, because instead of clearing he had to Polymorph. And I might have to use even more spells. So now his Zach's potions for 5 damage AoE is not that good. He might have taken 10 mana, I don't know actually. I think we do it? I mean, we're not waiting for Bran, and he's already played Bran Kazakus. I think I might as well. I have Fireball if anything goes wrong. That works for me, I have to lose a Fireball, but... Technically, I still outvalue him in this game. Honestly, Darty Rat's my combo cards. So I'm like semi thinking of saving Alex Ross a heal now, maybe, after using the Fireball. And I can go for Brankazakus Manic, and he can't do that. He's already played Brankazakus, and I killed him, so there's no more Manic potential. Judging by how fast his deck is with Novice Engineer, though, I probably still just play Alex for tempo if he. Doesn't force me to fireball next turn. Farlands portal ping. Oh, that's okay. Ah, that's okay. I don't play this as a control game because I do outvalue him, right? His list is running so much draw that sometimes in like grindy games, you don't want to play Doomsayer because if you play Doomsayer, uh, then if you go Brand Kazakus, Manic Soulcaster, and you try to resurrect your minions and then give him six health, it resurrects the Doomsayer, but it's not a mirror matchup. He's running like the heavy cycle all in list, and I'm running the control list. So <clears throat> I'm just going to play Doomsayer here. Plus, I'm kind of desperate, right, to kill his board. It's not that easy for me to just let this go. What to do? I mean, he could kill a Doomsayer, but it's a burn a fireball for it, probably. Crystal! 
Oh, no, that's not enough. I thought it was enough. Interesting. It's a test for Karisville. I, I don't think it is, but... We need to play Barrier here over Block, because see Alex draws us this turn frequently and hits us the 10. And then if we play Block, like, we don't get the Barrier value anymore because he can just burn us out. So we, we really need to play Barrier this turn. Oh, okay. We win. I think we win. Because he didn't stop my combo with Dirty Rat. So now there's 0% chance he kills me in a value game. And I think there's almost 0% chance he beats me in a race here. Like, he can't just kill me. There's four cards left and Alex draws this turn. Um, he doesn't have one more Zacchaeus potion, but... Now I can just wait forever until I get Brand Kazakis. Like, I don't even have to be scared of Dirty Rat anymore. Well, there we go. <laughs> oh no, there's no Brand. Okay, well, let's wait. For Super Greedy, we don't even play Animated Armor here because he can trade in his rat. It's not like the Animated Armor is going to help us. Kill something that we can't answer, like Archmage. I can, just, I can still lose. Because I have no answer for Archmage at the moment. I need. I might need to just go for Kazakus Manic Soulcaster. Oh, he's thinking of like never attacking me for Barrier. Interesting. I don't know how that's going to work. That, that doesn't seem right. If he didn't play Archmage this turn and it was an empty board and I didn't do anything, then he's probably not going to play Archmage. He just doesn't have it. Maybe I should just wait. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Uh, take 8 damage, because we don't need summon. Because we're going to get Doomsayer. I'll take this, because the other ones aren't useful, but... I'm going to take armor. I'm just going to take removal, basically. Because I'll win. Actually, am I even winning a fatigue? I'm 11 versus 10. He got the Emperor activation off for Archmage. Okay, he's not playing Winning the Fatigue. He's just trying to draw Archmage. I should maybe save this because he has flame strike and stuff left over. It's, he while he's going all in, it's still not like a fast paced all in. It's like a st strategic all in, you know. It's like calculate all in. It's not like I can just play out everything just because he's playing fast. I I need to draw one of my Kazakas. This my Reno is activated. I have some time. I have ice block down. This is why the Emperor activation is really scary here. I wonder how many fireballs he gets. Regardless, I can kill it. That's why I took the two potions I kill Archmage. It's only one? No, he might have more. Nope, just one. And then he has Torch. Didn't get Dooms here. That's I guess it's good. It's okay. <laughs> Worked out about the same, I guess. Oh, 
I have two more removal spells. Well, that's not removal, but this will buy me enough time if you like Alex draws on me. Well, I have Polymorph, that's the main thing. So I decided not to like ping those over multiple turns and play this after pinging down those. It's too greedy. Any face damage is useful for him since at this point he's just holding a bunch of fireball type cards to try to burn me out. He has a Roaring Torch and probably two fireballs. <laughs> what if that actually did one damage? That'd be so sick. It doesn't, apparently, it doesn't work. Wait, what? Oh, it costs one mana, I see. Because so I was wondering why I didn't use this with Archmage. I don't think he can win anymore. I, I drew my Kazakus, so my Reno's activated now. And I got 10 more armor. Plus, I still have animate armor before burning me out. Doom Sir here. I'm not even sure if it's worth it to kill. I actually, it's not the fact that I can't kill it. <laughs> Alright. Like this. Ready, sir. Can you explain Reno being reactivated? It's it's unactivated if you have duplicates, and I max Soulcaster two exacts in my deck, so I had duplicates, but not anymore. He's used Alex already, so I just Reno here. It's not like I have to be worried about Alex after Reno. I can kill him pretty quickly and fatigue his block is unactivated. I mean, Alex steal seven, probably lethal in turn after. Should I play safe? Like I don't I don't think he can ever deal with 17, but I could just get 10 armor instead of Alex. Alright, final boss. I did rank 5 to 1 with half the stack, half Reno Warlock. Oh, continue to get good hands. <laughs> Final boss. We always have a Doomsayer. I think we hit Doomsayer like every... We had to play this because um, when you kill one of the minions... Like, there's a way where they can kill Doomsayer. Uh, and if you have the 1-1 trade for patches, I think that's like the break point. Let's force him to use another charge. So I don't have combo cards with Blood Mage anyways. Most consistent deck. Definitely not Druid. Definitely not Rogue. So I guess it's... Reno Mage or Reno Lock? It's not aggro here. I like this one because it's from Book, so they might like play around some weird secrets. Like, never really want to play Barret before Block, but I think the difference is minimal. And we want to play Doomsayer turn 4 to lead up into our Drake turn 5. Uh, I don't think that's going off, but we'll see. He might Hex it here. Hex would be a great play for him. Or devolve happens too. They they have devolve here a lot. Nice, no spell power. Oh, uh, he's another we weapon. Wait, 
That's a good card to see for Aya. Okay, so my Drake's dying, so I only does 2 damage. It is interesting for Archmage, but I don't have AoE, and I have Firelands Pearl, so I'm kind of fighting for board control here. Let's go ahead and use it. Like, it makes more sense not to use it if we have Blizzard or Flame Strike, but we don't have any AoE. I mean, <laughs> I've never said that's a good draw. I don't think that's a good draw. But, uh, that's like a whatever draw. I don't I didn't really need to blast there. I'd rather hit something big. Uh, I'm trying to hit like draw cards like AI and Acolyte, Kazakus, things like that. I need more value. Oh nice, he's running patches. That makes... Uh, first I drew patches, but that makes the match easier if he's running like the aggro var variation of mid jade shaman, but not having an aggressive opening. I have to ping stuff over multiple turns. Yeah, see, like, that's why I'd rather just not have hit the Arcane Blast, right? Like, I'm starting to run out of stuff to do. Uh, that's my Farlands target. Oh, that is sick. Because I can constantly trade and it'll re stealth over and over again. Right, I just need to hit Flame Strike. <laughs> the Dirty Rat Flame Strike of this board. See, so considering Lightning Storm, it does 4 to 5 right now. You could YOLO it. I don't know if that's the best idea, anyways, but. I think we have to take that. We have nothing to do this turn. We can't wait. Ah, oh, this is kind of weird. I, I'm not too confident winning this game right now, but... If only he had Taunt, then I can hit him to 10. And then I have... Oh, can I cannot get one Fireball. I can't get two. I thought I could get two with Archmage, because I can't play the block until my block pops, but it's too late for that, so... And plus he has probably Jinyu's water speakers. I wonder. That means he's not AoEing if you attack the sheep. So I get him to 10, get a Forbidden Flame, get one Fireball, no, just heal. Blast, that's good. Is it time to just race? Do we do we die here is the problem? 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. One off lethal. Interesting. I can beat him if he doesn't have another Jinyu. I was thinking of just like killing the thing and then pulling out the Jinyu, but I, I think I might lose my block one turn earlier like that too, if I pull out any minion. So I might lose my block here, I might not. I think it's this game is right on me not losing my block this turn. If I don't lose my block this turn and he doesn't have Jinyu, then I can Power Blast him to five. Then whenever I lose my block and Garch Mage for, plus f Ice Bolt, Ice Block, that gives me one more fireball. The ice block number two will save me for another turn, and then I'll kill him with the fireball. I wonder. So yeah, I, I do like not pulling out a minion, because if I have a higher chance to die, it, it doesn't work.
All right, here I fireball him. Or power blast him, I think. Or, yeah, I just need one more spell. I don't care about the board anymore. I'm not trying to win through board anymore. That RNG is on it's on my side today. I mean, like, everything is RNG here, because this is from RNG. The um, power blast from RNG this game. The stealth minion is from RNG that, that I hit him in the face with. I'm just meant to win today. All right, no, please no top deck second Jin Yu. That's the way I lose. He can play heal because he can trade from Archmage. <laughs> so sick. Would I have damage? I would have 10, he would heal 11. Yes, I didn't have enough if he had Jin Yu number 2. Oh. It's cool. I'll save the screenshot. <laughs> yeah, sometimes they're just meant to win. I did not expect a legend to. I was like rank 5 before I started streaming, almost.